All right, this is the second part to finding an equation in standard form for a line that passes through 3, negative 1, that is now perpendicular to the line 4x minus 3y equals 7. So if we were to graph this equation, which we learned in algebra 1, we're now looking for another line with an equation an equation that is perpendicular to this, but this, this line is going to have the point 3, negative 1 in it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to find the slope of the first equation. Remember, we just try to get into y equals mx plus b to find what slope is, and based on our last equation, our last video, we found out the slope is 4 thirds. I'm just doing that to save time and some space on this video. Okay, so now that we know what the slope is for that equation, now the slope for the second equation, which is perpendicular, if you recall, the slope of perpendicular lines are the opposite sign, so if this is positive, now it's negative, opposite reciprocal, so now it's a negative 3 fourths. So two lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are opposite sign and reciprocal. Now we're going to plug it into our formula. So we know our x is 3 and our y is negative 1. y equals mx plus b. I use this equation is because we only have a slope and we have the points. So we can plug into this equation. Just like in the last video, we plug that in. But now the slope is negative 3 fourths. The x is 3. And we're looking for the y-intercept. Now we have negative 1 equals negative 9 over 4 plus b. And we're going to add 9 fourths to both sides. Now I know some of you don't like to work with fractions, but unfortunately, we still have to. So I'm just going to convert this negative 1 to negative 4 over 4 so that I can have the common denominator of this. We're going to add. So what we're going to end up is 5 fourths, a positive 5 fourths. Okay. You can review my other videos on adding subtracting fractions later on. Okay, so now that we have the y-intercept, let's plug it in. We have y equals, and again the slope is negative 3 fourths, x plus 5 fourths. We're not quite done yet because they want it in standard form, so we have to get the x and y on the same side. So I'm going to add 3 fourths x to both sides. And we have 3 fourths x plus y equals 5 fourths. I'm just bringing everything down. Okay. Now remember, A cannot be negative and it cannot be a fraction. Because it's visually it's easier to see an equation without a fraction or negative in the front. So we're going to multiply everything by 4 to get rid of the fraction. So we end up with 3x plus 4y equals 5. And that is your equation that is in standard form that passes through these points, 3, negative 1, because we plugged it into the equation. Now it is perpendicular to this line. Okay.